This video is gonna be more special for us because of two reasons. First of all, it's the second year anniversary of our channel. The Fluffs channel, two years! Yay! And the second reason is? On December 10th, it will be our 18th anniversary. That we met. Of our ma meeting. <laughs> Online, which is the same day as the channel, but the 16 years <laughs> earlier. <laughs> so for this video, we're gonna make a compilation, show a compilation of videos that we haven't used before. Yeah, that and, didn't quite make it. Yeah, because making a channel, producing a video, is not so simple as it seems. Sometimes you think, oh, let's make go this place, let's shoot and make a video. In the end, you don't have enough images or in the end, we realized, I don't think I have enough content for a full video. And then we leave there. But we don't throw it away. No. Really. Why? So this is a chance we're going to use some of the videos. So the first video is our trip in Brazil in 2017. And we went to this city called Poços de Caldas. It's a really beautiful city that's known for their tourism. Another thing they're known for is the um, thermal bath and the cheese and other things. So we have a few images of that trip. Yes. You're here in Poços de Caldas, you're here near Jesus, <laughs> and also here near Salvador. Oi, tudo bem? He's our tour guide, he's showing us around. So we're gonna come with us. So come with us. Sim? Sim. <laughs> you're here. The highest highest point of Poço de Caldas. There's a Christ over here. Yes. You're on top of us? Yes. It's 1700 meters high. So the view is very nice. <laughs> There's some mosquitoes here. Yes, there is. So Poços was built. Uh, this is a crater. This is the center of a volcano down there. That explains why the water, the sulfuric water, and everything they have the thermal stuff. You know, a very technical word. <laughs> so, Poço is almost in the state of Sao Paulo, so down there, it's supposed to be Sao Paulo state. So, this Christ is the second highest, biggest in Brazil, only after the one in Rio, the famous Christ Redeemer. So, Poço de Caldas has 180,000 people, most of them work in tourism. There's another tourism spot here, the Vel da Noiva. Is the bride Vel? Vel, asking my husband, so for <laughs> me. Yeah, it's Bride's Vel. It's beautiful. And people can go down and sit there and watch the water. Hey there, so we're in the house of cheese. As you see, the king of cheese. King of cheese. As you can see, there's a lot of cheese. So you, you come and you taste the cheese. Oh my god. There's cheese. <laughs> We're trying sausage. There's even the sausage with from Canada. No, they call Canadian. Sausage, like a pork. Well, he dropped it. Salvador dropped us here. The hotel is decorated for these June celebrations that happen in Brazil. Very folkloric. Festival the Festa Juninas. Because it's in June, it's about the saints, St. John, St. Peter, and St. Antoine. Oh, the cheese was so good. Brings back so many good memories. But the tour was so many things at the same time. The, the cheese part was like 10 minutes. You get off, got off there, 
had to watch the this demonstration and leave. So didn't have much time to really stay there and yeah. like developing something. It was too fast. Would have loved to stay longer. And also the term thermo was uh, the first time we did that kind of all this treatments. Yeah, I'd never had a facial before. Mm. I had other things there, a bath like in a tub with this uh, bubbly water from the the sulfuric, the springs. Sulfuric spring. It was so cool. The guys there were so friendly. We became stand there talking to them. It was really nice. Actually, one of them still follow us here on the channel. Like, Thanks for following all Bye. the time. <laughs> And uh, but you only had that scene of him, it was so cute. And also, you have uh, the closing part, which was in the hotel, that was the end of the tour. Yeah. But later, you saw, oh, I don't think it was enough, it was confusing. <laughs> well, that was Possus, yes. Now, for Debreton, Debreton is the hometown of my mother. In Hungary. In Hungary. It's the second largest city in Hungary. And we're there in December, December July. No July, oh, I'm going August. crazy. August 2017. We're there for two days. It was my second time there, or second time together. Yeah, second time together. I'd been there two other times before. We stay in this hotel, which is in a water park and also thermal. And the water park is, was lots of fun. It was really cool to do. Great time there. Great time. And outside, I have this beautiful lake, uh, like a fountain. And uh, was the most interesting place I've been there. Cause I sat down there, look at the water. It's and very the, relaxing. Very relaxing. Very so you had some images from there. Yeah. We're in the middle of, not the middle, almost the edge of Hungary bordering Romania. Yes. 30 kilometers from Romania. Very, very close. So, we're here at Aquaticum. Explain Aquaticum. So the Aquaticum it's is... so fofinho. It's basically a thermal bath and they have a water park connected to the hotel and it's in the forest. Yes, there's a stadium here next door. A brand new stadium, very modern. There's this cool like a water fountain outside. I'm gonna show later, but yes. first we're here, since we're here, I'm gonna show you around the pool artist. He did the slide earlier. Yes, I did, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's lots of water. Slides. He didn't want to shoot the other one. Shoot the other one too. I'm not doing the big one. No, it's the second one. Okay, I'll do that one again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the tide. So for fun, show the tide. Let me Okay, so let's go and see the tide. And as you can see, the water is moving very quickly. Yes. Oh my god, I'm gonna film. <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> I can't help it. It's pushing me. But they alternate, right? They turn the tide on and the, 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 the splashy off. Yeah. Then they turn this off to turn those things on. And there's the cave and thing you can sit down here and relax. So the tide is too high. So they have you can go all the way up there and get all down the slides. I'm not going for technical reasons. I don't think I should go. Okay. So we're waiting for the Wait, the tide. The tide high. Yeah, the tide is high and I'm moving on. We're here enjoying the sun. Yes, it's and the very day cool today. water. Fountain. And last night we were out watching a Some laser videos. show with video which was on the water. Yes. 
this is pretty new this they just made a year or two years ago a stadium right behind us yes very cool stadium for soccer and they made this if you go look at the google uh map doesn't really show here uh, yeah, okay. so debrecen is around two hundred has around two hundred <laughs> has around two hundred thousand people yes. and uh it used to be the largest city in Hungary, but this is 18th century. And uh, for twice, it was the capital of Hungary. One was 1844, 45. And then the second, right at the end of the Second World War, for a year. See? Surprise. So, Debrecen, the name Debrecen, apparently from 1245, when it was mentioned, first heard about was from Turk come from Turkish that uh, meaning Debreceni means move or live but there's another explanation too but you know there's so many things yes and you see behind us the sign Debreceni there Debreceni Debreceni is actually a type of sausage that and that uh, was born in Debreceni Debreceni yes so he's just relaxing enjoying the Enjoying the sun. The sun. We are here waiting for our luggage. Yes, our luggage is here. And of course, we arrived yesterday, so just for one night. So, waiting our friend. He says he's gonna take us to have a Hungarian uh, pastry. pastry. And then they're gonna take a, a van service back to Budapest. Yes. So, Debrecen is about 250 kilometers from Budapest, almost the border with Romania. Yes, and we came down by train. Yes, yesterday. It's been a fun time, it's not warm, it's 14 degrees Celsius, 40 something Fahrenheit, around that, I guess? Probably 50. Something like that. But it's not cold for us, you know, people here apparently are feeling colder than we are. But it's been very pleasant, so beautiful, there's a great farm church. It's not Catholic, it's Protestant. The last part was in downtown Debrecen, it was right before you went to the train station and you took this shuttle. I oh, know, went to the train station, take a shuttle. <laughs> it was cheaper and easier to take a shuttle back to Budapest. Yes. So you were there, that's in the downtown area in Debrecen. It was a beautiful time. I wish nice we could have stayed longer. With our friend Zoltan. And uh, from there you go to New York. That was December last year. For the past three years we've been visiting uh, our friends in New Jersey, which is just a hop, skip and a jump away from New York. I have some videos already in this channel showing the hotel, we have the Brazilian food there. And But this day, last year, you we went to New York, to Manhattan, and uh, we, make, we made a scene in the subway where you can see your friend Alessandro and you could learn some good tips about using the subway in New York yes and then you went to the Central Park area and then you stop in front of the Dakota building where uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono lived and also it was used in the movie Rosemary's Baby yeah so I made a video there and also in front of the Imagine sign yes in Central Park A subway station. Yes, at Fulton Street. Yes. And good tip if you're going on the transportation system here, the subway, know where you're going because not every. the train doesn't stop at every station. So one time we wanted to go to the museum. Yes. And the museum was. I forgot which station. And see, you got lost, Pazar. We got so lost because it didn't stop at every station. So we had to get off like 20 streets, 20 streets away from where we wanted to go. So know where, know which subway train you need, and what, check whether it stops at that station. By the way, breaking news. Look, what he got. The Fluffy's twin powers activate. So you got this star here. 
World Trade Center, they have this typewriter keys. Keys. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be. So I have the white one and he has the black one. If you get mad, you can just say yourself. <laughs> it can be <laughs> then good things. I should have got you and uh, you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here we are at Central Park. Yes, in the middle of Central Park. So we came to see the famous Strawberry Imagine, Imagine Memorial. Memorial. It is called Strawberry Fields, this area. Yes, and we're at what's called the Quiet Zone. Yes, because as you see, things are busy down there. Yes. <laughs> People sit down, lay down, take pictures. So this was a memorial made, uh, just to say, in honor of Leno's 45th birthday. birthday. It was a present uh, from now Naples, Italy. Yes, in 1985, so five years after he died. Some people think he was shot here, but he was actually shot across there. Where where he lived. He lived there. And they made right across the front. So it's very special for many people. Yes, and Yoko Ono attended. And, and also to remember, imagine, like, now all these fears, all these scary moments happening lately, and bombs and whatever. So it's a way to remember that peace is always good. Yes. Trumpets are here in front of the main, most famous buildings in the world. Yes, it's the Dakota building, or just called it Dakota. Yes. It was built in 1884, and this is where John Lennon was killed by Mark David Chaplin. 1980? December 8th, 1980. It's not it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. So, so many famous people live it or still live here. It's very Judy expensive. Judy Garland lived here. Yes, we didn't live here. Yeah, we didn't live here yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. Huh? yet. Who knows? In the, the famous movie Rosemary's Baby, Baby was shot through the facade here. Yes. So it's a very cool place to visit once you're in New York. Of and course, you can go inside because. And it's right across the street from Central Park. So it's located at 72nd Street and Central Park. <laughs> and it's yeah. cool. And then from the Big Apple, New sure, York City. A Big Apple in Canada. Yes. But this time a big, big, a real apple. It's an actual apple. And what, what it's famous for is they're apple products, so you can get apple pie, apple butter, apple everywhere. This is a uh, like a store between here in Montreal. Is it Coburn? Coburn, yeah. Coburn. And every time we pass there, by especially by car, you see the big apple. And we stopped there once years ago, and we stop again now in February. And uh, had some pie, some apple of course. And they made a few images there. And so here you can bag your own apples from the orchards. The medium bag is only 5 dollars and the large bag is five uh, nine ninety nine. And then in back of us, you can buy pies. So you can buy six inch pies, nine inch pies. And they also have apple bread. They show how many they've sold to date. So they've sold over six million apple products. Mm, they have apple bread. thing to do when going to one of these kinds of touristic places is getting a penny pressed. So basically you put in your dollar coin, put in your penny, and you stick it in. And then you get a penny that says Big Apple. 
what's nice to eat something nice to eat with uh, uh, apple pie is apple with caramel yes mm, so yummy but speaking about caramel we met another caramel <laughs> but that was in Hungary this year back in August so going back to January or December a year ago I was here listening to this radio station from Debrecen from that CD you saw Earlier. Yeah. and then suddenly they played this song and I thought wow it's so cool I'm really impressed and then I did the Shazam and found out Caramel is this singer from Hungary he was a pop star there he was like a Kelly Clarkson he was discovered on the first music competition there in, uh, 12 13 years ago a bit more than that and and then he was music uh, several albums he was a coach uh, the Voice, the Hungarian The Voice, he was also in the Revisions, he did so many things and he contacted them, luckily, and manager. yes, and then he, uh, he did this thing with this radio station in Brazil that we've been doing for 15 years now, have this production thing going on with them, and uh, we managed to have this Brazilian radio station playing a Canadian, uh, Canadian a Hungarian Canadian singer song. for the first time ever. So they played that for a while this year, and when we went to Hungary, we've managed... we contacted them again, and we managed to go see him in concert. It was exactly at the August 20th, which is a national holiday in Hungary, equivalent to, for example, Canada Day here in Canada, Fourth of July. But the Saint Stephen Day is the, 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 the first king is a very meaningful day for them. So the concert was at night in the Margaret Island. It's a very important, uh, cute, nice island in the middle of the Danube. Yeah, between Buda and Pest. And uh, they had this concert at night. It was his first time performing in that place. And the coup is they stopped the concert at nine to, for the fireworks because the entire sea, despite the, the, the river, they have a lot of fireworks. You couldn't see because of where you were, ironically. Unfortunately. But you could hear, but you saw the things on the video screen there. And then continued the concert after. It was so funny. Different. And after the concert, we went backstage and met him. But we have somehow, when we record a video with him for the radio in Brazil, later realized it didn't work very well. It was dark. No, it was too dark. There's a light bulb behind him. So it was kind of odd. But to record, I want you to see, yes, the image is not nice. Don't give us thumbs down. It was an accident. Please. <laughs> but luckily, we managed to meet him again later, like a few days later. It was so nice for him, for them to allow us to meet, to spend time twice. And uh, so something I want to share. We are here in the middle of the island, or almost, because we're going to watch the fireworks for the... St. Stephen Day. Also, we're gonna watch a concert of, uh, by a famous uh, Hungarian singer. Yes, in this know. place. Also, there's a water tower, it's a landmark, in the landmarks of the island. It's a UNESCO uh, thing, <laughs> a landmark. And so, I'm gonna watch the concert. It'll be my first concert in Hungary. Mine too. Remélem, hogy minél hamarabb találkozunk, nem csak a dalokon keresztül, hanem így esetleg élőben is. Szeretek mindenkit. Ah, is it? It's a little fast. <laughs> Szeretek mindenkit. He likes everyone. Yes, the gosh told me. And that uh, was so special for me. I like his songs. I like meeting him. He was so humble. He was yeah, so... it was really nice. On the second time, we were in a restaurant. He came talk to us. We kept, sat down eating with him and talking about music and Brazil and Canada. 
it was really really special moment a really very special something I always uh, feel happy about so that was some images hope you like it before you go first I'm gonna say happy anniversary happy anniversary yeah and uh let us let's write a comment to us in down here lower <laughs> below here and tell us what you like to see what kind yeah. of topics you want to see in the fluffy's channel what have any curiosity can be about canada can be about us can be other things what yeah, do you like to see know. so write a comment what you like what you don't like i know online is dangerous <laughs> but let us know so get glad to, to hear from you and i want to thank you everybody for the support for the likes for the dislikes yeah and uh we're here to learn we've been doing this so if you take the first video two years ago and now it's been constant learning yeah keep uh, an evolution evolution try to learn new things new ways oh let's do this way now so it's something that i guess it been growing from the beginning now i have a logo now i have other things we didn't have the beginning so we try to do our best and Hope another year, two years, ten years of more channel. Yes. So please write, comment, let us know what you think. Yes. And also don't forget the regular message. Like our video, like our channel, subscribe, Facebook follow on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and everything else. And see you next time. Ciao. Fluffy hugs. Aww.